Baby girl, I saw you coming from down the street and I started praying to the Lord to find it in his heart to send you to me and hallelujah if he didn't come through for me. Welcome to Fat Larry's Trucker Mac. I am the proprietor and salesman of the month several years in a row. The ladies call me, oh God, but you can call me Fat Larry with a F-A-T because there's more of me to love. Now, that is a legitimate question, but a better question to be, what don't I got in this truck? Because at Fat Larry's, my motto is, everything's got a price, but I probably know somebody who can get it anyway. <laughs> now, that's what I like to hear. But it's like this. I say my best stuff for select clientele. Now, that don't mean I don't appreciate your business. It's just, you know, business. Talk to me. I swear you were all like totally drawn to me. I'm surprised I don't know you. I usually meet all the LA vampires out on the scene. Not a lot of you out tonight, which is weird because I don't know of any parties going on. No, come on. It's totally cool. I'm Patty. Seriously, everyone knows me. Besides, I just wanted to ask you if you've seen someone. His name is Kent Allen Ryan. He's a Toreador. Really good looking, dresses really well, like all Prada usually. Oh, well he's pretty powerful. He's probably like oof, too far behind the scenes for you to know about him. Maybe you know some of the people who work for him. No, don't go. I really need to find him. Really, maybe you can ask around. You are totally awesome. <laughs> it just goes to show you that you don't have to dress you don't care what you look like to be a cool girl. <laughs> so, where is Ken? Oh, that is totally Ken. So, like that. I better go find him. He needs my help to do anything. Thanks again.
What are you doing here? Where's Kent? Why are you looking at me like that? Everybody comes in here's got to have a short house rules. Inhibition, the first thing to go. Two more of these and you'll be telling me your nastiest, dirtiest stories. I am your beat priestess and it's time to confess. Venus was her name. Got anything you want to confess? Oh, no matter how many times I hear that line, it never gets any more believable. So what's your thing, hmm? Stealing from work, sex in graveyards, watching the neighbor's daughter with the lights off? Hmm, sounds serious. I'm going to need details, so I know whether to pour a Hail Mary or a Highway to Hell. Really? I don't think I've got anything in this place that's going to wash away that sin. But you know what? Fuck it. Nothing exciting ever happens in heaven anyway, right? Oh yeah? I've been waiting for someone like you to come in here. You see, I've got this situation that's gotten a little out of hand and I need someone to inform some people that they won't be getting paid this month. Intrigued yet? Well, the parking lot next to the Empire Hotel. Couple of guys, Russian accents, bit thick. 
I need you to tell them Amos doesn't have their money. That's it. Drinks on the house for a week. You want cash? Whatever, I can do that. Question is, are you worth it? Hmm, I expected you'd bite. Empire Hotel, tell them I'm broke. You can run, right? Never mind, just don't go starting any street fights, alright? These guys are connected. Anyhow, a lot of people have yet to confess to the Beat Breachers. Later, darling. Fashion bitch send you money. Where is money? No money? Yeah, very knocky. certainly did better than my bouncer did. Poor dear can't turn his neck to the right anymore. <laughs> Already had a call from Boris. Wasn't too happy about tonight, son of a bitch. Say, how would you like to get into the club business, hmm? Well, to start this club, I had to take out a significant loan from a king bastard by the name of Boris, and every time I haven't been able to make the monthly plus interest, the bastard takes what he feels is a suitable late fee. I've got a club to run, so I'll be blunt. I refuse to... Fuck that fat, misogynistic old man one more time to hold on to the club. So I need someone to eliminate him. Do this, and I'll make you a silent partner. Boris is high up in the Russian Mafia. Does that make a difference? He's at the Empire Hotel. Always has a few of the fiercest bully boys standing around trying to out each other. He's got a short temper, and more than likely he's been drinking for the last four hours. We are key to the penthouse level.
It's coming for me now! It's, it's coming for me! My crew, my crew, we, we, were, we were here shooting for my show. I'm a parapsychologist, haunted LA. Oh, oh, God, it was right behind me. We've got to get out of here. Look, I'll level with you. We, we, we usually fake these things, you know, ghosts, if that's all bullshit. We were setting up downstairs and weird shit started happening. My crew, they all started disappearing. I, I don't know what's happening. Oh, no, no, don't go down there. We've got to get out. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. <laughs>
Real terror is not the sight of death. It is the fear of death. What is the fear of death? Terror of the unknown. Is it these eyes you peer into? No. I am not the unknown. You and I are closer kin than you and it were. Drinking blood to sustain your death, you are damned, yes? What if, besides the blood of the living, you had to eat pounds of their flesh to maintain that thin facade of life? What would you call it? Twice damned? We drink blood. I eat flesh. Kine eat food. But kine think us a monster. Without remorse, they would burn our body twice over to be certain we were destroyed. What is unnatural for some is vital for others. My birth name I tell no one. You may address me as Pisha. Pisha was the name of my companion and lover in a time before my death, 230 years ago. She has no need of it anymore. My stay in this city is transitory. I seek relics of the occult traced here and would trade similar artifacts to acquire them. But if you wish to bargain with me, the kind upstairs must be sent down here. He has seen too much. Eventually. Tell him this was all a ruse, his friends playing a joke. He will come. He must come down here. If he leaves, the frail disguise we wear for mortals will be seen through. Where'd they go? 